Tonight's guest has won three Emmys, the Golden Globe, the Screen Actors Guild Award, three Television Critics Awards, and the AFI Actor of the Year Award for his portrayal of Tony Soprano in The Sopranos. Over the past dozen years, he has created memorable portraits in true romance, Angie, Get Shorty, Night Falls on Manhattan, She's So Lovely, A Civil Action, The Mexican, The Man Who Wasn't There, and The Last Castle. He is, as Tony Soprano might put it, a made man in the actor's studio. And the studio is proud to welcome James Gandolfini. You have said around 25 or 26, I got into a good class and stuck it out. What was that good class? Catherine Gately. I head the graduate program in acting, and I supervise their training. I'm their master teacher for about almost two years. Uh, I'm the supervisor for the undergraduate professional training program. Actually, my mother put me in all sorts of clubs. One of the clubs I was in was uh, the Children's uh, Dramatic Club at the Children's Museum of Boston. But one day, I watched everybody get up and do it, and I thought, they don't get it. Isn't that terrible? And then, and I didn't know why I thought that. You know, it was just, it was, it came, I don't know. And then I got up, and I was very, very good at it. And to me, it felt easy, and everybody else was suffering in their seats. And, and I thought, gee, this is fun. And I liked it, and I just had an affinity for it. And that's how it started. In my first year, it was a terrible struggle for me because it was emotional work. The second year, when it got into character work and specificity, I was very, very skilled at it. Cindy Meiser would give me all these students to help, and I loved it. It just sharp. I loved it. I loved helping actors. I said, um, what I'd like to do, I think, is to teach in college and act in Boston. Jean Teruso contacted me that Northern had joined uh, the Erdenast schools. And Erdenast are the top 30 schools in America. Wouldn't it be fun if we brought it down to 15 or 12 or 11? And I love that idea. I love building programs. There's so many of them, and the business is so difficult. The business really appreciates actors who have a sense of dignity and self-worth and discipline, dedication, talent, and craft. Just hanging out at home. Nothing. Not doing anything. There's nothing to do around here. I don't see you fighting with doings, with verbs. It's lying flat and you're just relying on the text. Say a verb. What am I going to do in the first verb, David? The poor actors, it's public. It's public, and you have to think like that. It's not easy to take 240 criticisms from a teacher, critiques each, each year, in front of, you know, 14 people. And so you, it's always public, and so you search before you speak so that you have time to think about how to best proceed. Maybe 15 things go through your mind. What would be the best way to approach this? What should I focus on? Should the actor be challenged? Should the actor be nurtured? Should the actor be advised? But it takes time. You know, there's, there's a number of needs that you have to serve the graduate students. I, I recruit. I've just spent the last, I think, six weeks. I haven't had a day off now in six weeks. 
And I have been working every single day, 12, 14 hour days. For six weeks, I haven't had one day off. But I love what I do, but we work, honestly, we work too hard here. When I hear the legislatures express that we don't work hard enough, I have a niece who graduated from Harvard University who really is a, has the gifts of a teacher. She's, and she said to me, Aunt Catherine, I, I would like to teach college, but I'm not going to teach college after watching how hard you work. Jimmy, he was wonderful. He was, um, he was wonderful. He was, he was big. <laughs> Weren't they doing when you arrived uh, an exercise of threading a needle? Yeah, she. I'd thread a needle, and, and you know it was impossible because I was, I was so angry and so nervous at the same time. And, you know, and she kept making me go back up and try it, and eventually. But he was, he was scared an awful lot because he never acted. Do you know what? And here he is in this advanced, difficult training with the professional class and a very challenging teacher. He was, he was, he was you know, he, but he did it, and he started to really understand it, and really grasp it, and get it. And I'm very, very proud of him. And when I watched The Sopranos, I see that he kept to it. You know, she was very smart because she knew how to push, not just push buttons, but push buttons in a good way. You know, he, he, he's very authentic, and that's what a lot of the work that I do is about, trying to find the authenticity and help the actors find it, because I think that's the best acting, when you don't see them acting. This is what you have to do. This is what people pay for. If you don't want to do it, get off. But this is what people pay for to see. They don't want to see the guy next door. These are the things you need to express and be able to control. We'll work on the controlling part, and we will, and that, but that's what you need to show. And I, you know, that was a big step for me, because then I could start to go to where my anger was and things like that and realize that I could control it. She was, she was very good. I think it inspires them. It, if I talk about someone who's, you know, a very big person who's won an Emmy, and I talk about the strengths, the troubles, the challenges, their eyes just light up. It's motivating to them. And it also gives credence to what I'm trying to get them to do. Because otherwise they sit there and go, who are you? You're just a teacher. You're not in the world. You're not out there. Why should I listen to you? This way, they, they're, they're wrapped. Because they know you're bringing that body of knowledge into the classroom. I can't imagine not doing it. I can't imagine it. For us to get Moscow is really representative of what the school is doing. The association with the Moscow Art Theater, first of all, there's only a more advanced school who have that. One is Harvard and NYU. And NYU, in my mind, is the number one graduate program in the country. But on top of that, we are now bringing over an original show written by a faculty member that will be performed at the Moscow Art Theater. Now, the only other school to do that is Harvard University's ART. It was what we needed. It was the thing that we needed, and we got it. And you can't get anything higher. We can't go any farther. We got, we got the highest thing we can get. The acceptance level for the, the first tier schools is about 50% of what, who they want, okay? We used to get maybe 40, 35. This year, I'm right now, as of now, I'm at 65, and I still haven't heard from two people. These things don't happen by chance. You have to have um, some sort of significance in the, in the skill of the actors and the training. It's, that, that really will, that, that says what it has to say.